The third day of the European Union summit on coronavirus economic recovery package ended in a deadlock as leaders failed to resolve the differences over allocation of funds. Now the marathon talks have now been extended as stake is at stake now is 1.68 trillion euro package which is meant to help Europe recover from its deepest recession since World War II. However, so far the summit has only exposed divisions between member nations. The main conflict was between Italy and Hungary and camp led by the Netherlands. In fact, the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban went uh, on to blame his Dutch counterpart Mark Rutte for the impasse. Uh, uh, red box, the Dutch. Uh, uh, blue corner, Hungary. Uh, so, so, so that's so simple. Uh, I don't know what is the personal reason for the Dutch Prime Minister to hate me or Hungary, but he is attacking so harshly and making very clear that because Hungary, in his opinion, does not respect the rule of law, must be punished financially. That's his position, which is not acceptable because there is no decision about what is the rule of law situation in Hungary. The Netherlands wants to have a larger say in the fund allocation as the country has been one of the main contributors mm, to the Eurozone. That yesterday in the media bleek tegenover de 26 stond. Uh, wat je nu ziet is dat ons uh, idee ook nu is neergelegd in een voorstel van de raadsvoorzitter. German Chancellor Angela Merkel has warned that the summit may end in failure. Guten Morgen. Wir gehen heute in den dritten Verhandlungstag und es ist sicherlich der entscheidende. Die verschiedenen Themen, Größe des Fonds, die Art der Steuerung und auch die Fragen der Rechtsstaatlichkeit sind jetzt gut aufgearbeitet. Ob es zu einer Lösung kommt, kann ich nach wie vor nicht sagen. Es gibt viel guten Willen, aber es gibt auch viele Positionen und so werde ich mich mit dafür einsetzen, aber es kann auch sein, dass es heute zu keinem Ergebnis kommt. However, French President Emmanuel Macron sounded more optimistic. He urged EU leaders to reach a compromise for the sake of European unity. Et enfin, c'est la question du montant de ce fonds de relance, où là aussi, nous avons des, des dissensions, des sensibilités différentes qui sont apparues. Voilà les principaux sujets qui sont devant nous et sur lesquels il nous faut trouver les bons compromis dans les prochaines heures. Je pense que c'est encore possible, mais ces compromis, je le dis très clairement, ne se feront pas au prix de l'ambition européenne. Pas pour le principe, mais parce que nous sommes face à une crise qui est inédite sur le plan sanitaire, économique et social, parce que nos pays en ont besoin et l'unité de l'Europe en a besoin.